motion picture entertainment. Mugambo, unforgettable adventure in untamed Africa. Africa, known for centuries as the white man's graveyard. Yet into its belt and mountains went a crew of actors and technicians determined to return with the motion picture different, unlike anything ever brought to this screen. Clark Gable, in his best role since Gone with the Wind, Ava Gardner, more beautiful and more exciting than you've ever seen her. Grace Kelly, playing a part every woman secretly understands. The heat and fury of the jungle tears the veneer of civilization from these women, one from the high life of society, the other from the nightlife of New York. No holds are barred as they fall in love with a man who lives for adventure. You can be nice and sweet when you want to, can't you? How do you know? Maybe you spoke too soon. I warn you, I'm looking, I'm searching, I really am. I'll look with you for a little while. What would give her the right to say things like that? She saw us that day when we walked up on the porch. Oh. You must forget that, that it ever happened. It was just, well, it was nothing. You want me to forget it? That's why you changed your mind about taking us on this trip. Plus the fact that you're not in love with your husband. You mustn't say that. You are stuck, aren't you? Once and for all, You're I... jealous. Shouldn't you examine your own emotions in that light? Look, don't worry about me. I could be pea green with jealousy and I couldn't be hacked up any worse than I am already. It's you we want to worry about. You know, this is no Sir Galahad who loves from afar. This is a two-legged boar constrictor. Magambo. The story of a love affair as adventuresome as the surroundings in which it happens. You travel along uncharted waterways on a suspenseful safari. You venture across the African belt, alive with all manner of wild beasts. Just as the animal stampede in King Solomon's mind created a new high in screen thrills, MGM has now topped it with a blood-chilling spectacle the Battle of the Gorillas, photographed for the first time in French Equatorial Africa.